Thank you. I do love Chris Dingle services. First of all, I enjoy watching the flames flickering on candles. Another reason is I like candle jokes. <laughs> so, what burns for longer, a red or a white candle? Neither, they both burn shorter. <laughs> what did the candle say to the match? You light up my world. <laughs> They're bad, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> but I also love the story that Chris Dingle tells us because it starts when God made the world. He made everything in it out of nothing. Well, sort of out of nothing. It was out of love, really. He loved the world into being. God's love is that powerful and he still loves the world and all that's in it. And he made us a beautiful world for us to enjoy and to care for with him. I want you to pause for a moment and if you've got a Christine, we'll just hold it in your hands and imagine God holding our world in his hands and loving it. And then into this wonderful world, God poured all sorts of lovely gifts. He poured the changing seasons. He poured the every good gift that we enjoy, the plants and the trees, the animals and human beings with all their variety and beauty, imagination and potential. All good gifts ultimately come from the Creator directly or indirectly. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine something really special that God has made or given you in the last year maybe. What's special to you? So music could be one thing, you can count music. It's all right, no problem. Let's just think about what's special to us So you might enjoy the beauty of music. It might be a special place that you've been to on holiday or you long to go to on holiday. It might be your friends or your family or your pets. It might be a special item of food. Or it might be, if you're younger, a toy or a book. Or actually for older people too, books. I love books. Now, on the orange, there's one, two, three, four cocktail sticks on there. And they represent the four seasons. And then on the end, if you've got a church one, you've got dried fruit. If you've got a school one, you may have sweets. If they've lasted this long, of course. I know you made them in school on Friday. And what we're going to do is we're just going to look at those four cocktail sticks and just lightly touch each one and thank God for a good gift in your life. So just go, Thank you, God, for whatever it is. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. But even though God made the world to be beautiful and blessed it so richly, it's not always the bright and light place that God intended it to be. Human beings haven't really always taken proper care of the world or of each other. We sometimes made the world a dark place. I don't know what you think, but there's lots of things that make the world a dark place at the moment. And COVID is one of them, I know. But there's also other things too, like the way we've misused nature. There's so much plastic in our oceans, hurting the wildlife. We've cut down rainforests. We've destroyed habitats. We've used carbon fuels to greater excess than we should have done. We've all eaten far too much at times too. We've all contributed to environmental damage and caused global warming. And then, of course, climate change causes droughts and floods and extinction of some species, all sorts of suffering. There are also, I think, more direct ways which humanity has been cruel cause wars and injustices and inequality and oppression. And then sometimes tragedy strikes us in our own lives. That makes us feel like we're in a dark place too. 
It's a good time in Advent to just reflect on some of these darker things. Because God sent his son into the world, Jesus, to sort out the darkness. Jesus came to a people who were oppressed. He was born in a dark and dingy and cold stable. And if you read a little further into the Christmas story, Jesus and his family became refugees, fleeing for their lives from King Herod. Yes, Jesus was born into a very dark world, but that's why he came. When do we need light? We need light when it's dark. Light is important to dispel the darkness, send it away. And so the candle reminds us that Jesus has come to be the light of the world and we need never walk in darkness because we will have the light of life. But you know, the world didn't really like the light all the time because Jesus showed up the wrong things that have been hidden in the dark, the injustices and how we've mistreated people. He lived a life that showed us how we should love each other showed us how we should live and he talked about how leaders should be caring properly for everyone but you know god has never stopped loving the world even though sometimes it's not a good place god's love goes right round the whole world all the time and that red ribbon on your christingle is god's love going round the world and round each of us there are many ways that we can know God loves us, maybe answered prayer, the strength to get through difficult times, the peace which calms our fears. But above all, the love of God was shown by this grown up Jesus when he died on the cross. So sometimes we say the ribbon is red because of the blood of Jesus shed for us. You know, the Bible says, that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. Life in the light and love of God forever. Even though Jesus died, the candle flame will still burn on because Jesus came alive again. Do you know the love of God was deeper than all the hatred of the world? The peace of God was stronger than all the violence of the world. The light of God was brighter than all of the darkness in the world. And this light, the light of Jesus, will never be put out. It will go on and on forever. Isn't that a lovely story? That's the story of the Christingle, the story of the light and love of God. And today and this Christmas, we remember how much God loves us, how much he loves the world, and we thank him for all his blessings. But we also remember the God who's blessed us so richly wants us to take those blessings and become a blessing ourselves so that we can share that love with the rest of the world. Amen.